on this cold y'all i am cold as crap that's why I, I got on a short sleeve shirt and usually i'm fine with that in the house but i had to put on a little cover up today something about the freeze up in here and i had to turn the heat up i'm cold my hands are cold but um i wanted to come through and just check with y'all and say what's up with you right quick um i even though i have a vlog channel i'll still vlog on here sometimes because everybody's not sub to my vlog channel so if you haven't sub head on over to my vlog channel trade them before speaks and sub over there because i am doing a lot of um fitness videos and just kind of talking about you know what i'm doing and things like that so yeah head on over there um, it's just different stuff, really. Um, so what's up, y'all? I see everybody is doing these challenges where they're trying to save money. Um, the 52-week challenge, I think it is. I tried that a couple years ago, and it didn't work for me. Um, you know, of course, it works out at the beginning, and you're just putting in money and doing all this stuff. And I mean, it's great. I have a piggy bank that I was not, well, you know, a change bank, coin bank. Um, it used to be called piggy bank, but it's coin bank. So I have a coin bank that I actually stash coins in and things like that. So that's what I am doing, and I'm doing quite well. I am so proud of myself, is that I am doing a no-buy challenge. Yes, for myself. Um, I'm in this group on Facebook, and I was actually doing it prior to I actually started and you all might have heard me say last year around Christmas time I wasn't purchasing anything else so I actually to hold myself accountable joined this um PJ challenge in this group that I'm in as well for hair products but I kind of had started on my own and I tell you I am so freaking proud of myself because I haven't purchased anything, but when I really looked around the house, y'all, I had so much stuff that I really, truly needed to use up. So this last Shea Moisture, buy one, get one free at Walgreens, I did not get in on that because really I just have too many products. And I gave away my daughter a lot of products. I have a basket full of products still left downstairs that I need to give to my cousins and stuff like that. And it was like Carol's daughter. I mean, it was a lot of really good products in there. But I went through my stash and really just narrowed down some things. And even with me doing that, I still have a closet full of stuff. Um, but I really just want to narrow down um, because I've gotten to the point. I've been there. I'm natural for three years. So I've really gotten to the point in my... Um, journey that I pretty much know what works for my hair, what my hair does not like and things like that. So I went through, I just didn't get rid of junk. I got rid of good stuff too, that it was in, it may be some stuff that was good for my hair, but because I have so much other stuff, I just got rid of it. Some stuff was used. I might use once some stuff I never used brand new. Um, I did the same thing. I did the same thing for makeup. And so my daughter took a lot of stuff, but this is what I have left the whole box and I put it in a cheap box. I had gotten her cheap for Christmas, but um, yeah, feel to the top of makeup products. And a lot of these things are brand spanking new. Like this one, I opened it and I might have swatched this, but I swatched this brand new, um, let's see, brand new, brand new so it was a lot of stuff in here that's actually brand new stuff and it was some stuff that i actually did use and um the mascaras in here though are brand new but <sighs> brand new y'all might see me swatch these back in the summertime and i bought, bought them but i swatched them and i just never used them um what else i got here i got some coastal scents in here some physicians formula I mean lipsticks lip glosses a whole bunch of stuff and they were new but I just I really got rid of a lot of stuff and I do that every so often I'll just go through and just get rid of stuff that I'm not using or I haven't used or I know I'm not going to use and sometimes it's just really me making some decisions to just do away with stuff even though it's brand new or even though it was really really good I just I just really need to get rid of it so that is one way that you can actually save some money is by challenging yourself to not purchase anything. And I'm, I still look at haul videos, not as much. Um, 
but I'm really I'm to the point where I can look at haul videos and I feel like oh I gotta go out and get that because I really truly just don't need anything else I really don't um until I knock down some of this stuff that I have sitting around here and that's with makeup hair products um body products soaps everything I went through this phase of collecting all this stuff and it really didn't have a lot to do with YouTube I've always been a person that I just I'm, I'm a product junkie and not just with hair products it's with everything so and I think you know my daughter she loves it of course because she gets anything that I don't want which a lot of times is a lot of stuff but um so that is one way to kind of challenge yourself um with the no buy and I find that it is doing great I'm on a no buy until June, so won't you join me? I hope some of you will join me. Um, and I do see the 52 week challenge that you are doing. So what are some of the things that you're doing that you know, you're trying to save yourself some money or what have you for you know, this period or however long? Let me know what you're doing by leaving comments in the comment section below. And I will check back with y'all later because I do have some videos. Today is my recording day supposedly. So I am doing some videos today. So I will see y'all soon with some product reviews. So I will be getting back into some product reviews because I have a whole lot of product reviews that I need to get out. Um, as well as some hair tutorials. I've been flirting around with that a little bit. So be on the lookout for something like that. And some um, outfit of the days. I am doing like a lot of casual outfits. I may do some, you know, office outfits or something like that in between. But, um, yeah, because I'm not working right now. So I really left. I didn't take out a lot of my work dress clothes. I do have a few, though. So I'll probably do some of those as well. Um, just different videos coming up. If it's something that you would like to see me do in particular, please leave it in the comment section below. And I will be glad to try and make that happen. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next video. Bye.